Hi, I'm Kane Reeve and I represent Disc Dungeon Interactive. Welcome to the February 2023 video devlog for Gore, an upcoming old school first person shooter developed in collaboration with Werewolfware. First of all, we want to say a big thank you. The support we've received from those who saw the last devlog has been nothing but positivity, and it's been such a huge boost to our motivation, so thank you, all of you. Last month has been a bit chaotic on our end. We haven't been able to get as much done as we wanted to due to a very, very bad bout of illness. As such, it will come as no surprise that this month's devlog won't be as packed with content as January's. With that being said, we still have plenty to show off, so without further ado, let's begin. First of all, this month saw a lot of work done on our first weapon sprite set, the revolver. These clips should speak for themselves. We've shown these off a little bit on our socials, but we wanted to give you guys a more complete showcase here. Displayed in the last clip too is a mock-up of our shell casings. The sprites used are final, however we have yet to implement a system for them, because we actually want to have them stay on the ground permanently. For now however, they are just using Unity's particle system. While I unfortunately was unable to dedicate time to animating anything beyond the Revolver's animation set, seriously, fuck the flu, I did however get started on some models for other weapons. These include the hatchet, dynamite bundle, and its variations. Adjustments may be made depending on how these look as sprites. We are aware of certain imperfections in these models, however we are not too concerned about them as they will be turned into sprites anyway. I wish we had some animations ready to show these off. When we do, you won't need to wait till next month to see them. More info at the end of the devlog. Showing off the game's world models is a great way to segue into the world of gore. I've started working more on my work process for creating skybox assets and sprites for static world objects. Here's a small collection of random things to show this. Also, it's occurred to me that we've only really been showing you guys one environment, that being the interior of the morgue the game opens in. We understand that this is probably pretty boring seeing the same two rooms over and over again. There's actually a pretty good reason for this though. We have been working on changing our level creation tools. Previously, we used Save a CSG for levels as I prefer its Boolean based workflow over Pro Builder. However, as we began to build out our levels, it became clear that Save a CSG was not suitable for our needs, so we've instead moved back towards Pro Builder. While I still prefer Sabre CFG's workflow, Pro Builder allows us far, far more freedom in what we're able to create. A core part of Gore is dynamic levels, which can be destroyed through both player actions and scripted sequences, and Pro Builder allows us to do this. This change does, however, mean a lot of our level design time this month has been spent completely redoing things. What we already had created in Sabre CSG had to be converted into Pro Builder, meaning we've been unable to get other levels into a state we feel happy with showing off. Just hold on a little bit longer and we'll have more to show, I promise. Speaking of places though, there's a new premiere location for all things gore. The official gore webpage is now up. Go check it out at disdungeon.com dot com slash gore link in the description and subscribe to the mailing list for exclusive content that's it from us this month again i'm sorry that we didn't have much to show off but illness and external commitments really destroyed our pace i had what seemed like three illnesses back to back so was bedridden for a while over the next month i intend to catch up on the work i missed so that should be exciting to see anyway that concludes this monthly devlog, but before we leave, we have one more exciting announcement. Linux support. Next month, we'll make good on our five dead fish promise. See ya.